It is a absolutely beautiful day here in North Mississippi. I got a phone call saying that the bins was good today. So let's go in and see if that is true. All right, I got here just in time. They are about to finish changing out the wall. I am standing behind the yellow line, listening to directions. When they say go, we're gonna dig. All right, oh, let's go, let's go. All right, so far I hadn't found anything. There's some plates right here. Some kind of dish, I'm really interested in that. Some gloves. What's she got? Oh, cute. So check out the pewter pieces that Lee got me. Look at this cup, how cool. It looks like it's been used and smashed. I don't mind that. That just gives it character. This cute little piece right here, I love this little creamer. That is adorable. And a little tiny pitcher right here. Look at this cute little bell right here. Christmas 1997. Found some smaller embroidery hoops. Looks like there's a bunch of embroidery stuff. Here's some patterns. Ooh, that would be so beautiful. Finished up. What is this right here? Oh, she's cute. It's a little rabbit and it has a little green pattern on its body. That is super cute. Oh, some graphing paper. I needed some of this the other night. I had to Google a uh, grafting paper and print some out. Cute little burlap bow. Does I need that? Maybe. I might grab that. What is this? I think it goes this way. It's missing a piece. It looks like hammered aluminum. Does it go with this? It's just like an ice bucket. I don't know if that goes together or not. Got some little Christmas stuff in here. It's a little Easter basket right there, but got something on it. Cute little cherub and a little teddy bear and a pumpkin. What is this? Oh, that's a that is an interesting Christmas tree right there. Here's some Christmas baskets right here. <gasps> what? What? Look at this giant spool. Why? I am very excited to find this, but man, I want a whole bin of these. I'm gonna put it out in the universe. A whole bin of spools. Oh, I didn't show y'all all the stuff. My friend Lee from the Turquoise Valentine, she's been here shopping before me, so she she picked up a bunch of stuff for me. How precious is this little angel? Oh my gosh, so cute. A little basket, a little um, wooden riser right here. I'll probably just put this in my DIY stash and add it to something else these are some quilt inspired placemats and i was thinking with these little embroidery hoops that i picked up maybe i can make some little pieces of artwork i don't know what y'all think should i cut these up or should i leave them as is there is three of them they would also make cute little pillows as well and ooh, look at this beautiful brass and wood pepper grinder got some candlesticks okay these are amazing look at this duck right here then look at this duck so beautiful Ooh, here's a basket right here that is a really amazing basket and i wish it wasn't all messed up at the top i think because of that i'm gonna leave it here it's a cute little purse Hair products. Literally anything and everything is at the bins. Oh, here's another one of those placemats. Okay, I'm gonna grab that one. Here's a bread box, but it has seen better days. And that one here, that looks like some glassware. And this box. Here's a stone. It is not Pampered Chef. It is, I don't know, some kind of other brand, but I don't need a pizza stone. I think we have like two or three of them already. Here's a little doll right here. I think I saw another one. Yeah, over here, a little Christmas one over here. This is a cute, small little side table. It is $3.99. It would need a paint job. 
but I like it. I like the size. You know, if you just had a small spot that you needed something, this would be perfect. Here's a little bunny piece right here. It's pretty light. It looks like somebody spray painted it. I see a crochet piece. Is this a shawl? It is. I love the color on this too. It's a beautiful off-white. This is definitely going in the cart. Somebody has some baby Yoda slippers in their cart. Probably a good thing. We don't need any more baby Yodas, but if I find them, can't pass them up. Some kind of wooden piece right here. I think that might have been like a laundry basket holder. Ooh, what is this? Looks like a big cabbage bowl. Hearth and home designs made in Mexico. Ooh, a book on the Chafalaya Basin, the largest fishing river swamp. That's really cool. This would be a great little coffee table book at our camp. And the color is great too. I'm gonna get that, add it to the cart. Let's see if there's anything else in here. What is this? I think it's a Girl Scout book. Cooking Outdoors. Oh, here's a little leather fallen apart Bible. It actually zipped up at one time. I love the look of this. Grab that. Cookbooks. These are probably some good cookbooks. These hand, um, they're not handmade, but ooh, look how old this one is. They were, it was probably a fundraiser or something. And they put together a bunch of recipes. Yeah and sold it. There's probably some amazing recipes in this book. What is this one? This is from Springfield Kitchens. Oh, here's an old book right here. Operation and Care Repair of Form Machinery. There's probably some cool images in here. All right, I'm gonna grab this one too. This looks like a whole bin full of lotions and potions. Here's an old buggy, or a reproduction of a buggy. It's definitely not old. It might be handmade. Bags, shoes, picture frames. Let's see what's in these bins over here. I noticed that they have the music lower today, which is great. Oh. This is like a little picture frame insert. I'm gonna put that in my DIY stash. I might, I might need that. Some candles. Ooh, what is this? Flowers and specimens. I was hoping it was a whole book of images like this, but it's a little calendar. It's a doily. I like that. Add that to the cart. I actually got a good bit of stuff in my car, just a lot of small things. And here's a bunch of stuffed animals. What is this? Oh, with some brass baby shoes. And it has somebody's name on it, but I wonder if I could, ooh, I can. I'm probably gonna take these brass shoes off, so that way you just have the brass shoe to decorate with and not this big piece right here. They must have snuck these bins out when I wasn't looking. Wood, brass, what is that teapot right there? I'm gonna need another hand. I see some more brass down there. All right, I'm gonna have to put y'all down and dig. Oh my gosh, look at what's on top. <gasps> I love that. All right, come on, cart. I need you. We got some stuff to get. Okay, for sure. We need that. All right, I moved the piece on the other side so I could actually look in here with y'all okay brass sconce going in the cart i was about to leave i was heading to the register and i saw this there's a marking on the bottom i'm gonna check this over make sure it doesn't have any chips if it doesn't that's definitely coming home with me Ooh, that is pretty i think somebody made this they put a glass piece under the brass candlestick that's cute some little figurines I don't know, a little cow thingy. It's 
see what this is. Brass planter. We need that. A little bear. Ooh, I see a I see a rabbit. <laughs> a little baby rabbit. That's cute, but probably not gonna get that. Oh, hello sheep. I need you for my vignettes. That's cute. They're rolling out new bins right now, but I gotta look through here. This little it needs to be cleaned up big time, but I think once it's cleaned up, that would be really precious. Jesus first. I think that's what that says. A little wood cutout. Here is the top of a brass pineapple. I don't see the bottom. Some little coasters. Alright. I think that is everything I'm interested in in this van. But look, there's some more boxes. Let's go dig. This looks like a little basket scoop right here. I've only found one of these once or twice before. How did my cart all of a sudden get so full? A little snowman, a little shelf. Let's see what this is. Ooh, shoot. I need, I need another hand. Y'all, it's some artwork. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Some canvas artwork. Look at the little snowman right there. That's cute. I'm gonna get that. All right, let's see what's in here. Um, yes, we need this basket. Great condition, beautiful color. That is going in the cart. Oh, this is, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. <gasps> that is adorable. Look at her little chubby cheeks. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Y'all know how I feel about shipping big stuff, but somebody did an amazing job on this. That is beautiful. I don't think I can leave this behind. Is there another one? <gasps> there's, the, there's a boy. There's a boy. Oh my gosh. <gasps> there's a boy and a girl. He's holding a little star and I saw the base was in here. So that is good. That means I can actually take the bottom off and ship this flat. So that would be a lot easier. I mean, look at the hair. They did such a good job painting these. Oh, that is a good find. Is this something rusty? What is this? I can't get it out. I can't get it out. <laughs> oh, it's a French horn. It's not rusty. It's glittery. And I don't know why it's stuck in this box, but I'll leave it here. I'm not interested in that. And it looks like some candy canes over here. Well, y'all, as much as I would love to just stay here all day and dig, I just have to move on with my day. I have other stuff that I have to do, but man, it, it's hard to leave when they are constantly rolling out stuff. They're constantly rolling out new bins with goodies in it that we love. I mean, look at all this. Do y'all even remember everything that I got? Leave a comment below. Let me know what's your favorite. I think it might be this boy and this girl. They are just beautiful I mean absolutely beautiful actually let me see if it's signed that is a shame that the artist did not sign these so many goodies so many goodies it's been a great day at the bins thank y'all so much for coming hang out with me today I will put a total on the screen of what I spent on this cart full of stuff and I will see y'all in my next thrifting adventure if you like the items you saw in today's video, make sure you check out my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com in the home decor section. It is filled with amazing vintage unique finds as well as beautiful greenery and home decor. And the first Wednesday of every month at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, I have the vintage drop on my website where all of the items I thrift for all month long become available for purchase. On my website, you will also find fusion paint and and Dixie Belle paint, as well as all of the amazing IOD products, paint brushes, and supplies. And on my website, guys, it is $9 flat rate shipping. So no matter how much you order, it is only $9. So make sure y'all go check out juliesdesignsandsigns.com. And mark your calendars for the next vintage drop.